What is good YouTube, it is your brother Black XS here, and welcome back to another video. This time around we bring us some Black Ops 3 gameplay to you, but that's not the point of this. As you can probably tell from the video, I'm a little bit upset. And that's because people are uh, defending Treyarch in this, and uh, and I don't want to really say no names, but I've been watching uh, a YouTuber, I watched the YouTuber, I watched the video, he was like, that Treyarch didn't have a say in um, releasing the DLC weapons as supply drops are not actual DLC for people that had to see the past or whatever. He said that they didn't have that much of a say in it and at the end of the day it's Activision who basically owns track and was their final call. And technically speaking, it kind of is. It kind of is their final call. It kind of is up to them. They do own the company. Um, and every you know every major decision you know, has to go through them per se. But my issue with this, and this is the issue um, that there's another YouTuber, uh, I will say this name because we're kind of in agreement here, uh, Simon B, and he has some numbers that I forgot, but uh, you know, we're in agreement here, and I do kind of say that, want to say that, like, you can say no, if what, you're, if what the company is really, truly doing that's bad, that you don't believe in, and what he was saying, the uh, other YouTuber, um, he actually read a letter on Reddit, I think, I think it was Reddit or something, and it's supposed to be from an official track employee, and uh, for some reason, it's, I mean, it seems like it could be an actual letter, so I'm not going to just discredit it and say that it's not. But he was saying that, um, you know, that they didn't have a choice, that he didn't have a choice. And he was saying that's they feel shitty because, you know, they didn't want to do that. And if that's the true case, if that is the true case, that that's why uh, they didn't want to do that, then they shouldn't have. To be honest, you can say no. If you really, really don't want to do that, if that really is going against your morals and your values, Values, you could say no. It's, it's just that simple. Like, you can honestly turn them down. And, and I know you're gonna be like, uh, you know, they might, they don't want to leave their jobs. They don't want to, uh, you know, get fired. Or, you know, even worse, you know, like, not nothing's worse than I don't think getting fired. It's not true when you're talking about a job. But, uh, you know, that they, they might take pay, uh, pay cuts or something might happen that's a punishment for them being, uh, you know, insubordinate. And to be honest, um, that shouldn't really matter to you if they're willing to compromise your values and your morals. And what I mean when I say that is like, you shouldn't worry about being fired from a job that's compromising your morals. And Treyarch itself is a very, very talented corporation, or, you know, game makers. Um, they will be scooped up. <laughs> they will be scooped up. That's something that me and uh, you know Simon we had the same idea on this. You know they would definitely be scooped up. They'll be picked up by somebody else, and they won't you know go without a job for long because um, just like with Respawn Entertainment when they made Titanfall, you know they were part of Call of Duty, got fired, made a new game. Someone picked them up, made a new game. That, that's exactly what's gonna happen. You can they can say no. They chose not to. All it takes for evil to triumph is for one good man to do nothing. And basically that is what Treyarch is doing by letting Activision just have their way. Because now that this is going to start something new. Like before with Call of Duty, when Call of Duty I had the uh, all those paid map and paid DLCs that kind of instigated, or not instigated, I would say created uh, the way for a lot of paid DLC for console gamers for the locked on DLC that we have now. And uh, you know, um... Wait, hold on. Is that is, is uh, Destiny Activision too? I, don't, I, I can't say that. I don't know if Destiny's Activision, <laughs> but oh man, <laughs> if Destiny's Activision, you know, then it'll, it'll make start making perfect sense because you know Destiny have that locked on content. But you know, you gotta argue that Call of Duty Activision. These are people that allowed this to happen in the beginning. These are people that had this happen in the beginning um, with the paid DLC, and now they're taking it a step further with the supplier drops. <laughs> And that means, you know, in further companies, further companies are going to take this step further because they know people will buy it. They know people will do it. They had the opportunity to stop this. They had the opportunity to stop this from actually happening, and they chose not to. Like, you got, I don't, I don't think you understand why I'm so upset. It's been, or, or, you know, why I'm not sympathetic with them. It's because they just rolled over and, like, you know, took the safe out. Like, you know what? Um... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, speak up against this. I'm just gonna let them ro roll over me and compromise my values. And that's something that you know. Fuck a job. And I'm excuse, excuse my language for that. But fuck a job. If um, you know, it's, it's gonna cost you. You know what you believe in. Your own fucking values. What what, it, what is a job today? How can you? 
Like, it, it may be okay how, with your job actually to uh, rip off. I mean, what you essentially what you're doing? They actually rip off the people here. But what if your job actually rip off a bank? Would you would you do it? No, you would. You have fucking values. You, you would not compromise your values over a job. And it's the same thing here. If you actually cared about the consumer, if you actually cared about what you're doing, you would leave. You know, may, maybe that that particular employee did. But after the like, you know, when you read the letter and when you re watch the video, it seems like they, this is the entire company's mindset. That all of Treyarch said, now this wasn't something that they wanted to do. Then all of Treyarch should have said something. All of Treyarch should have said something, should have laughed. Think all of them, not just one, not just this one person. Because if this one person, you know, whoever it is, it's a random letter. So if this one person did in fact leave or, um, you know, said something, spoke out, then yeah, fine, go ahead. And oh, David Vonderhaar, he said something about that not being mad at David Vonderhaar. David, 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 David. If you are the spokesperson, basically, okay? I mean, that might even be your actual job title, bro. You, my friend, you are the one that's supposed to be looking out for the public. You are, help, you are in public relations. You're making people hype about this game. You came out and said the supply drops will not have anything, any weapons in here that's going to actually, you know, do anything. And when the MX God Eye came out, you ran. You went on a vacation just so that you had to face the scrutiny that people would give you because they, you gave them their word. Or I fucking up my speech. You gave them your word. You said that there would be no DLC weapons and no supply crates. Can't speak. Supply crates. Flash forward a couple months, and what do we have? We have the M the M Garan, which you know what. In all fairness, it's not really a good weapon. It's not. So, you know, we, we as a community, we kind of overlooked that. We should still have it. So overlook it. The melee weapons, again, they're melee weapons. They're, you know, they don't really, I mean, you can use a knife. It's the same concept. It doesn't really matter, okay? We weren't upset about that. We didn't care too much about that. The Marshall, oh, you know, we got a little bit upset about that. Wasn't caring about it too, too much. The RSA interdiction, I'm not even sure if I was pronouncing that fucking shit right. But... You know, that's when we started to care. It's like, okay, wow, this gun actually has a little bit of stopping power to it. This gun actually might be able to do something. And it's not fair that, you know, we don't all have this weapon, especially people who paid for the season pass. And then you add an insult to injury with releasing the HG-40, a submachine gun. A powerful submachine gun because it's based off of the MP-40, which is one of those powerful ones in World of War. Most popular ones in World of War. And then you reintroduce it. You could only get it by spending X amount of money and getting lucky enough to roll it in the crate. Where there's people who have spent their money, the money to your company, to buy the season pass, which you said guaranteed all DLC. If you really, really cared about the consumer, you would have said something. You would have done something. You might have said something. You might have done something. And again, I know you probably worry about your job. You know what? I get that. But you would have been picked up. People that made, uh, what was it, Wild Warfare 2? They got fired. They got picked up. And then they had Titanfall. And now they're making Titanfall fucking 2. And I hope to God Titanfall 2 is the cod killer that everyone drink Titanfall 1 would be. But then again, do we really need it? Because COD is killing themselves. You're not listening to what the people want. And then you're fucking over the people that stayed with you. They're still with you. Hey, what do I know though? I'm just a fucking YouTuber. And I ain't even a good one at that. But uh, You enjoyed this video. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you feel bad for Treyarch? Do you feel as though it really isn't their fault? Because I think it is. And that's just completely honest. It's just as much as their fault as it is actually. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Share this video wherever you share cool things at. That appreci I'd appreciate that. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, if you can't do that shit, I don't know. Vine, you know, all, all that social media shit that I don't know about. I don't use Facebook. 
Uh, that's all I got for you guys. I'm out. Do you fight?